welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about leopard geckos and loose substrate. Now, before we get into today's video, I just want to say, wow, it has been a hot minute since I have been posting. Um, I'm so sorry about that. School is just crazy right now. I've also been trying to work on all the animals' enclosures, which we'll get to probably at the end of a bit of updates. But it's just been, like, so hectic, and I'm super, super sorry for that. You guys know I rescued that hermit crab in the last video. I've been trying to get his setup perfected. Um, he, uh, he will be doing it. We'll be doing a welcoming video for him soon called like meat and then his name. So don't worry about that. Um, now let's get into today's topic. So yes, I am using notes. I wrote these notes handwritten on the notes app on my phone and I will be referring to them because I want to make sure the information for you guys is right. Now I really hope my camera is recording because that's what really, really stink if it's not. So I'm going to check if it's recording and I'll um, be back to you guys. Turns out it was recording. Just wanted to make sure. Um, if you're new to my channel, and also thank you to all the new people who subscribe. If you're new, um, consider subscribing. My room is like super humid right now. I don't know why. It's probably because like I got like one heat lamp, two heat lamps, and then all these LED lights going. But it's like so humid in here. I'm actually gonna open a window when I'm done with this video. Um, so yeah, let's get into this video. So. Now, like I said, before we get in, like, really in-depth, this is all my opinion, and now let's get into it. So, um, obviously, leopard gecko substrates um, should be safe for geckos to eat food off of and lay on there and easy to clean up and replace for the owners, you or me. Sorry, I'm relying on the sunlight, so I really hope it's, like, good. Um, so, it should be easy and cost-effective. So you don't want it to be too expensive, and it should be easy for you, the owner, to keep up with it and uptake it. And also, sorry if you see a bruise in my arm, I just got shot. Um, so now, you want to make sure you're using a safe substrate. Now, not any substrate is safe. You may be asking yourself, hmm, what substrates are safe then? And I'm going to get to that in a second, but now we're going to talk about some substrates, in my opinion, that are not safe. Now, this part is my opinion but some of the parts are facts so I'll let you know when there's a fact coming up now um you're you when you're you I'm gonna by the way put some b-roll of my leopard gecko tank while I'm talking so I just want to let you know if you're sensitive there will be a flashing of the b-roll um now some substrates I would recommend staying away from is definitely sand um I'll pop up a picture um of what a leopard gecko's actual environment should look like in the wild. They have arid grasslands. You can see there's tons of rocks and there's, it's like a plain. So they they have mixed substrate. It's mostly like sand mixed with a little bit of dirt, mixed with some like mulch kind of stuff. That's why um, I made the bioactive terrarium mix. I will definitely do a video on that soon so you guys can see. Um, now, the reason I'm saying stay away from these is number one, sand doesn't hold any humidity, which leopard geckos need when they're about to shed. You want a humidity spike to go up so they actually can shed properly. Um, and also, when they're about to shed, like I said, you want it to spike. And walnut shells and sand can actually cause impaction. Now, if you don't know what impaction is, impaction is pretty much when a reptile or an animal cannot pass this certain thing through their digestive system. Now, this can be anything from like clothes or something as simple as a rock or even a substrate, even like a bit of sand, because sand is very quartz. And same with walnut shells, and they cannot pass through. Um, can, and like I said, it can cause impaction, but it's very hard for them to pass. This is why I do not recommend using this substrate. And you may be wondering, can't any substrate cause impaction? Yes, actually, any substrate can cause impaction, but sand and walnut shells and anything really coarse has a higher chance of causing impaction. And you may be wondering yourself, wait, if your leopard gecko is healthy, can it not cause impaction? Bingo. If your leopard gecko is healthy, it really shouldn't get impaction. Now, obviously, if you're using sand, sand's just not good in the first place. It actually can dry out your gecko's toes. Toes. It can get clogged in your gecko's fem femoral pores. It's just not good for your geckos in general. Same with walnut shells. But yes, any substrate can cause impaction if your gecko's not getting the proper supplements and it's not getting the proper heat and stuff like that. Now, this is a risk I'm willing to take by using my not my substrate. Again, I'll pop a picture right now of another picture of an arid grassland. This is what they should. This is what we're trying to mimic um, in captivity. Now, at this point, you're probably wondering, then what is a safe substrate? Like, you're telling me my zoo, which is my YouTube name, 
all these unsafe and reasons why, which is great. But now you're probably wondering, what is a safe substrate? So these are just my opinions for safe substrates. There's also a ton and tons of other safe substrates. If you want to learn some safe substrates, I uh, can't speak. You can just Google some and others like that. So now, like I said, let's just talk about some something first. You don't have to use the substrate, like I'm saying. It's just proven to reduce boredom and captivity. It's proven that leopard geckos will dig and stuff like that. It's just proven um, this is a fact that they will dig and they will use the substrate. They will utilize it. It will help them with boredom, not be bored, stuff like that. So, um, again, you don't have to use the substrate. It's just recommended. And if you do tend to use it, I'm trying to tell you the benefits and the cons of using the substrate. So, and like I also said, it's proven to increase mental stimulation. So now some substrates you can use. You can use Arcadia Earth Mix Arid if you're in the UK, or I don't know if people in the US like me can get it, but you can use Arcadia Earth Mix Arid. You can use the Biodeed substrate if you're in the US. They have, um, it's called the Terra Firma. Um, you can use that, I used to use that, now I use my own substrate. You can use, um, I will be posting a video in a couple days of my substrate mix, so you can definitely go off of that if you want. My Zoo substrate mix, coming to store soon, joking. Um, which works really well. Um, and then you can even use Eco Earth. I've seen Eco Earth is great because you soak the brick in water and then you can just throw it in your gecko's tank and not worry about it for a month. You change that every month unless you do bioactive, but you can't really do bioactive with just Eco Earth. Um, for more bioactive videos, I'll link my bioactive leopard gecko setup up here. This is an old video, and then I'll link my um, some of my other leopard gecko videos up here if you're interested. I do have a leopard gecko named Noah if you're new to my channel. If you already haven't subscribed, subscribe with the bell so you can get more daily awesome content make sure you smash the like button too it lets me know if you guys like this video um and then you can also use eco earth mixed with sphagnum moss mixed with mulch mixed with sand a little bit a little bit of sand play sand and it's a little bit because what happens is this will help um retain tunnels if your gecko digs or stuff like that a little bit don't worry it's not enough to cause impaction it's like a cup I'm not going to spoil my recipe. I'm just going to be quiet now. Um, you can even use paper towels. That is completely up to you. You can use any substrate you want, but this was just addressing some of the common concerns I hear when people talk about leopard gecko loose substrate, like in my school and anywhere like that. So these are just some of the common concerns I hear, um, and I hope I did answer your questions and your concerns. If you do have any questions, comments, and concerns, leave them in the comment section below, and if you do, um, want to like say something um, that I did wrong please let me know in the comment section just do it nicely obviously don't be mean about it constructive criticism is welcome on this channel and like I said like as I do in every video thank you guys for watching make sure you do research and I'm gonna see you on the next one peace I'm out